how SpaceX will profit from Mars. Humans are an ambitious bunch of beings. Our latest seemingly overreaching ambition is now to become a multiplanetary species. This noble cause is championed by several people, including writers, space explorers, scientists, and, well, billionaires. Of all the prominence of this cause, there is one man that stands out above all as the champion of it. Elon Musk. This man has singularly revitalized human interest in extending human habituation to other planets. Even the almighty NASA now relies on Elon Musk and his company to ferry two-thirds of their payloads and astronauts into space. All these have been achieved through SpaceX, and he plans to achieve much more by colonizing Mars. Is it possible to colonize the Red Planet? How does Elon Musk intend to do it? If he happens to succeed, how will SpaceX profit from colonizing Mars? All these questions and more are going to get answered in this video, so sit back, relax, as we examine SpaceX's great dream of colonizing Mars, and what profit its investors stand to gain from such a bold venture. How SpaceX Plans to Colonize Mars Covering such a long distance to Mars and having to travel back and forth requires advanced rockets, spacecraft, and huge capital. Colonizing Mars is a dangerous and ridiculously expensive venture, but Elon Musk has embarked on it anyways. The first stage is producing reusable rockets with perfectly controlled rocket landings. SpaceX has already achieved both goals, with its Falcon 9 rocket boosters having been successfully reused many times over. It is also building an advanced launch vehicle, which it calls Starship. But that's just the beginning. It would also require a powerful launch vehicle that would be capable of covering the distance between Earth and Mars in as little time as possible. While the average time it takes to get to Mars is 7 months, SpaceX plans to do it in 6, when Earth and Mars are both perfectly aligned. Perfect alignment of Earth and Mars occurs once in every 26 months. Starship and the Super Heavy Rocket To get to Mars within the time frame of 6 months, SpaceX plans to utilize Starship and the Super Heavy Rocket. These two make up what SpaceX originally referred to as the Interplanetary Transportation System ITS. Starship is being developed with the capacity of conveying over 100 metric tons to Earth's orbit. Powered by 9 Raptor engines, it will be able to make the flight, though it must first refuel in Earth's orbit before embarking on the long journey to Mars, where it would refuel using the available Martian resources. SpaceX on its website outlines the planned trip in six stages. In the first stage, the spacecraft is launched while the reusable rocket booster returns to Earth. The ship would stop over at Earth's orbit in the second stage. In the third stage, tankers in orbit would then refuel the Starship. While the orbit refueling tankers return to Earth, Starship would then continue on its journey towards Mars in the fourth stage. In the fifth, the ship is once again refueled using Mars resources. In the sixth stage, the ship takes off once again and returns to Earth. It may sound simple, but it's actually very complicated. SpaceX is notorious for trying to simplify everything about spaceflight. Once the first settlers get to Mars, how do they intend to colonize the currently inhospitable Red Planet? How SpaceX Plans to Make Mars Habitable the answer to how SpaceX plans to make Mars habitable might shock you. But right before we answer that, let's briefly consider why SpaceX chose Mars out of all the planets. Mars is incredibly Earth-like in a lot of ways. It's got a day and night cycle extremely close to ours, where one day equals 24 hours and 37 minutes. Like Earth, Mars is also 4.5 billion years old, and it's made of the same materials as Earth. However, it's just got 38% of Earth's gravitational force which many consider as an advantage as they can lift heavier objects with lesser force. One more interesting fact about Mars is that it is much colder than Earth. Musk says they'll overcome this challenge as they intend to warm it up. Now you might be wondering how they intend to do that, and the answer is not as far-fetched as it may first seem. It's the same way Earth has gradually been getting warmer and warmer over the last two centuries. Greenhouse gases. To achieve this, Elon Musk often suggested that they might opt for a process referred to as terraforming. To do this, they might have to deploy a nuclear bomb and simply nuke Mars. Now, you've probably seen him wearing one of those SpaceX t-shirts with the inscription Nuke Mars and Occupy Mars. While this particular option is still an intellectual exercise, it is one of the options that SpaceX has left open. Now to the main question you must have been asking. If SpaceX Mars colonization missions succeed, then what does SpaceX stand to gain? As we pointed out earlier, Elon Musk is a businessman not just a visionary. How SpaceX will profit from Mars Venture According to Mayers, 
NASA's lead Mars expert, he told CNN Business in an interview that the relevant question is not if travels to Mars will be a profitable venture, but when will it become one, since it's an inevitable business venture that many private individuals will eventually indulge in. While it will cost SpaceX so much money to achieve, the concept of an interplanetary profit is quite appealing. If one can make $200 billion on a single planet, what about if your business operates in two planets? If all goes well and Mars gets colonized, how will SpaceX generate profits from Mars? Number 1. Tourism One of the several ways in which SpaceX and its investors can make huge profits is through tourism. Imagine the huge amounts of money countries can make from tourism each year. In this regard, over 1 billion Earthlings go on a tourist attraction each year. While it is mainly millionaires and billionaires who will be able to afford the tickets and the cost of going on a tourist vacation to Mars, consider the fact that the Earth has 46.8 million millionaires. Even if we want to exclude the millionaires, Earth still has about 2,825 billionaires. Imagine if 40% of these decided to spend their vacation on the Martian planet. They wouldn't opt for tourism alone. They would request for as much luxury as their money can buy. And when you consider it, billionaires generally love exotic tourism and luxury. If they can spend tens of millions on automobiles, ships and private jets, they won't mind spending a few million bucks on a rare lifetime supply in going on tourism to Mars. After full optimization of their spaceflight and Mars, SpaceX plans to charge a modest transport fee of $200,000, which these millionaires and billionaires can easily afford. Number 2. Interplanetary Taxi SpaceX also stands to profit a lot from the interplanetary transportation services it would offer. In fact, SpaceX doesn't have to wait that long. It is already being engaged to deliver special several payloads, such as military, government, and privately owned satellites into space. It was actually contracted last year by NASA to ferry two of their astronauts into Earth's orbit. SpaceX currently handles two thirds of NASA's payload launches with the Falcon 9 rocket, which has already fulfilled over 100 missions. So it wouldn't be hard to guess that SpaceX would offer interplanetary ferry services from which it would stand to make a good deal of money. The interplanetary cargo they will be ferrying will include humans, satellites, military hardware, personal effects, etc. It would operate like an airliner, but charging a whole lot more. Number 3. Perfect Retirement There are a category of millionaires and billionaires who would choose Mars as their final retirement center. But they aren't just going for sightseeing, they're also going to live out the last of their days there. To these people, there will be nothing more spectacular than departing the universe on another planet such as Mars. There is also the proposition that since Mars has just 38% of Earth's gravity, people will live much longer than on Earth as it is believed the gravity contributes immensely to man's aging process. Mars would therefore be the most suitable place for those high and mighty who fancy the concept of longevity. Some will even readily liquidate their assets and holdings here on Earth and move everything up there. It wouldn't be something new since Musk himself once liquidated all he had in order to migrate to the US, with the $2,000 he realized. SpaceX and its engineers would make a fortune in helping such billionaires and billionaires achieve this dream. Number 4. Provision of Luxury Goods and Essential Services For those Earthlings who choose to reside in Mars, they will require certain essential services like breathable air, power, agricultural production, medical services, etc. Individuals cannot provide these services due to the huge capital it's going to require. Corporations like SpaceX will have to. And the services will be provided at a premium price unlike on Earth. SpaceX will also have to provide luxury goods such as Martian transportation or vehicles. Tesla would definitely prove useful in this regard. All these are viable sources of profit for SpaceX. Number 5. Filming, Internet and Entertainment Another highly lucrative venture through which SpaceX will gross in quite a lot of money is through the provision of filming, streaming services and entertainment. It would certainly take quite a long time before Mars is able to cultivate a new culture of entertainment. In the meantime, Martians will still depend on Earth's entertainment for things like film, streaming services, sporting activities and the likes. Starlink, another one of Elon Musk's company, can make these services readily available as they can beam TV programs at Mars. Even when Mars has fully developed its own entertainment culture, many will still miss some of Earth's peculiar entertainment. Why do you think we still cherish classical works of art? No one wants to lose touch with his origin. Provision of film, streaming, 
internet and entertainment services is yet another way by which SpaceX and Starlink stand to make a lot of money. Number 6. Communication Communication is yet another vital field that must be offered. Communication among fellow Martians is essential. Communication with Earthlings will also be a necessity. If telecommunications service providers make so much money on national and intercontinental communications, imagine how much SpaceX will be making providing interplanetary communications. Number 7. Natural Resources Since Mars is made up of almost the same stuff as Earth, then there is also the high probability that there will be precious natural resources such as platinum, gold, iridium, uranium, diamond, palladium, pal pal palladium? palladium, and other precious natural resources. In fact, there may also be more precious elements which are currently unknown to man. Undertaking the mining of such precious natural resources will certainly bring a huge profit. Number 8. Martian Artifacts Another means from which SpaceX can probably make a lot of money is through the sales and exportation of artifacts from civilizations such as Mesopotamia, China, Egypt, Greece, Rome, and so on. Why do ancient artifacts from civilizations such as Mesopotamia, China, Egypt, Greece, Rome, and so on cost so much? Artifacts from the past are valued greatly. The same will be true for Mars. SpaceX only needs to collect some and keep. In a few hundred years, these will become highly prized artifacts. I'll just move on to the final source from which SpaceX can profit from its proposed venture to Mars. Number 9. Intellectual Profit While Elon Musk hasn't publicly announced the means by which SpaceX plans on making profit from its Mars exploration missions, Musk in 2012 did mention that a lot would be made from the intellectual proprietary data that they intend to collect. If SpaceX happens to eventually colonize Mars, the spaceflight company can further study new planets which are currently inaccessible or unknown to us. They might even be able to gather new data about the Earth itself as their observation will be concluded and conducted from outside the planet. Quality research data is extremely valuable, and SpaceX intends to cash out on it. For long, humans have been dreaming and hoping to become multiplanetary species. It is imagined in art, written about in books, and showcased in sci-fi movies. Today, SpaceX is pushing us closer to the realization of this dream, and we might just start from the big red planet. But as a privately owned company with a visionary CEO, it might take a profit, and there are several unexplored avenues for that. Thanks for watching, and while you're here, go ahead and click on one of these two videos on your screen.